Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I'm dying, sister. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Yeah. Just as I thought, Come in on. a bad state. Your father sent us. My father. <sighs> he told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. Whoa! Oh shit! A white one! Sir, I need help. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Jess here and welcome to part 23 of my Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And let's not waste any more time and get into this video. Now, if you haven't watched the previous episode, then please make sure you go in the description and watch that first, just so you're caught up a little bit. Or if you haven't even watched any of my walkthrough, then there will be a link as well to part one for you. So the last episode quick run through was just, it's been chaotic. Dutch is a massive issue at the minute and he is really starting to grind on me a little bit with no one knowing Arthur's health condition at the minute it's also I'm waiting for the penny to drop within him to let someone know but it doesn't seem like that way and now the fact that Mary has completely cut her ties with Arthur he is on his own as he always has been anyway but it's really sad that the only romantic connection that he could have potentially had has now gone and we may never know you know right so we ended the last episode helping out uh what's her name sadie we helped sadie kill off a load of people um in kind of spite of her husband dying um previously so yeah i think this is going to be interesting to see where we're going to go with this all right, we're going to go slightly off topic here as we had a connection with this guy called uh, Captain Monroe, I think is how you say it. Um, this was when we were talking with like Eagle Flies and his father. Um, it looks like we need to help him out with some bits and bobs and considering we're not too far away, it makes sense to do this. So let's catch up and see what this is going to be about. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. No, everyone looks so sick or something. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. and He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is oh, this wagon? Sad. Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. 
Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. He's not having it. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Boy. Hearing these bear sounds always make me so scared as well. Oh, this Colonel Faber knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, I like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. Can't uh, afford more conflict. I don't Especially like being discreet. <laughs> now in prison at Fort Wallace. Oh, he is in the meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation. Oh no, 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 no! You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Yeah. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career, trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. It just seems like it's getting worse and worse for them all. Out here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case. I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you mm. say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. That's all I do. <sighs> well... I don't know about myself, don't but you know. The reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Well, so, how am I going to do this then? I'm, I'm guessing I get on my horsey and. I'm not quite sure what I need to do maybe get behind it and get on it I really don't know
search for the medicine. Okay. Oh. oh How do I? Uh... Right, that's the body. Not ideal because I don't want someone to go by. Can I? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Touch. Come on. I'm feeling nervous already. Sees. I think I should have picked up a gun or something back there, but I'm scared. I don't know what I what I did. Maybe it was one of those weapons, but I don't want to be that person where I stay there for too long and then repercussions start happening from previous ones where I've stayed for too long and they put a massive bounty on my head. But we got what we needed, so that's all that counts. I don't want to do too. I don't want to do anything too silly. It's even more crazy to me the fact that they would hold something like this away from people. It's medicine at the end of the day, and obviously vaccines. I think we all kind of know as well that especially diseases and things like that back then even now really are, are you know still bad so it's important Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too bad. Mm. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not. Oh no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. We did something good there. So that's all that matters, right? Right, it looks like... Tr Trelawney? I'm probably butchering that name, but they need to speak to me. So let's go over there. We've got a long way to go. Okay, friend. Never better. Dutch. You're breaking his heart. Oh, whatever. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. But I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear. They're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. Yeah, please. It was right. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Yeah, you nah. No more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. 
Everyone's starting to go as they should. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his mm -hmm. kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Okay. It's going to be interesting. I feel like I might need to feed my horse quickly before we go. Hey, boy. This way. Not much. I haven't really got much on me at the minute. Me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Let me get rid of this. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. Yeah, I just a little bit. Done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. Yeah. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much. But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, yep. how can we not view that as something personal? Yeah, When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. But say, Ooh. look, Wrong button. you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. Yeah. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. He's a good man for doing that. This way. What's wrong, Mr. Morgan?
I feel like this is this is not gonna work, but he's trying everything. That's all he can do really. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure they do. Silly name. Great start. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly. Quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances. Oh, in oh, oh, please. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. Oh. So let me be very. Oh no. <laughs> You okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being this facetious, is not good. Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. This isn't good. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or oh. attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors the man who missed a battle. Poor it's not Monroe. good. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> land. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Woo! I don't want to kill this man. But shout me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We need to leave now. Don't be dumb. You won't get away with this. Shut up. You son of a bitch. Open fire! This way. I'm not good either. Oh, 
I'm not good at shooting. Especially on my horse. I'm not good. Oh! <laughs> Why am I? <laughs> this is a mess. What am I doing? Now I'm running into a tree. I don't know what's going on. There's so many of them. Oh. This was meant to be a truce. On, horsey let's go we got this I believe he's shooting with a shotgun on a horse. <laughs> I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we no. do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. <coughs> <coughs> they was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? <coughs> we'll do <what> we... <coughs> <coughs> oh, come on, Arthur. <coughs> Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Hmm. Here. Here's some money. You're gonna need it. Take and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thanks. I'm so sad. Stop on a train of sand so much jump for on them. a boat. But avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Oh, that's so sad that he's just got to leave Maybe like that. <laughs> 
Morgan. <clears throat> Are you okay? Uh, no. Never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, man. I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive no. me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. That's true. I had a son. Huh? He passed away. Oh. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My it's husband so died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful oh. that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, <laughs> and everything makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I. I'm afraid. Yeah. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. Plus, I shall try. Off. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, sister. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet of her to say that. He's taken an absolute beating at the minute. <coughs> right, so it looks like. We need to go back up and speak to Charles. This looks like a bit of a big one. So let's go and do that. Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The <clears> chief, <throat> he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Hello? <coughs> Come in. <coughs> Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? Just about. My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How <laughs> is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. 
I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? Mm. People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well, what should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No, and any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. Yep, well done, Doc. Sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Yeah, he's ruined it. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles, where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Love that. Okay, fella. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> you know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. Yep. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. Yeah. You see that? Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. Pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. Yeah. That's for Dutch. I gotta try. I own that at least. Easy. Ah, sorry. There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. Oh, he's gonna tell him? It's pretty bad. <laughs> well, it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian. He's starting to tell people now. Fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater. A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
but might help us with sneaking in there. The rainfall told That's me there was heavy. some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken, elders beaten. Mm. Bastards. Yeah, this isn't gonna be nice. Really itchy ear. There it is. Control group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. I hate sneaking. It's my worst thing. Let's deal with I'm those never two ever at good. The gate first, you take one. I'll take the other. I can't believe I missed my first shot, like what in the world? I thought he wasn't properly dead then. Oh, so you drop. I don't know if that was the right swap or not, but... YOLO. I'm not really that bothered about my guns and stuff at the minute. Just want to do the storyline. I know they can help. Crazy. There's a lot of stuff in that. Go I thought he was going to actually fall then. This is crazy. Are we going to take him out? Or we'll send Charles. Charles. All right. Done. So it's done right. Shit. Another guard on the walkway. You got this one? No need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Move so far, people. Hold back while I check the tower. It's okay. Let's go. There's a guard out front. You take him. I'll cover back there.
Oh, just... <laughs> I'd rather them just do it. Okay, Arthur, come on. <laughs> I'm scared. Shot from the walkway up there. Surely have to take him out. Lantern, oh, this one in the middle. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Yeah, just as I thought Come in a bad on. state. Your father sent us. My father. <sighs> he told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? He's sure. in bad shape. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Whoa, whoa. I'm just... He's in a bad fine, way. Fine. We're definitely going to be in trouble now, aren't we? We'll have to shoot our way out. I'm supposed to destroy the wall. What about that cannon? Okay. Come on. Let's use this thing. Sorry, I had to pick up a phone call. Get up. I got you. 
This is where I, st I struggle like crazy. I really, really find it so hard to shoot on keyboard and mouse. It's just so difficult. I know there's probably an easier way, but... see because of the horse. Come on, please. Oh, why? <laughs> I just... I couldn't get my position in there at all. It was really bad. The, the horse is in the way. I can't see. And they were really pushing there. Please. Oh, really? button again I really want to shoot with this but I know there's a I know there's a button to press why am I going really slow I know there's a button to press to look backwards, but I can't remember what it is. is crazy that we're on canoes right now. I mean, a very good idea, to be fair. Crazy. This is ridiculous. No, <laughs> why are we on canoes? I need to understand this. Why are we on canoes? Right. I've pressed the wrong button again. Believe me, that ain't my plan. Another 
Why am I always in a canoe on my own with no help? This is what happened last time. I died last time. Leave me alone, please. You've got to be joking me. You've got to be joking me. This is too much, man. You know that he's ill and you're making him canoe. Come on. I think we lost him. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? No, yeah, mate. I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your phone. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <sighs> Poor Arthur, honestly. <laughs> right, so it does look like Dutch needs to talk to us. So let's go and head back to camp and see what he wants with us. Here we go. Why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? Mm -hmm. What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Shut up. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. What's it going is a on? Of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness mm -hmm. as your chief i implore you your words mean nothing to me father don't ride with me now stop 
Please. Stop. Bless him. Please. Mr. Morgan. After you helped me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. Yeah. Well, what else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, all right, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Oh, sh Who honestly, else? shut How up, and Dutch. Me. me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. Secrets, please. What else of course, Dutch is at the front. Back, oh, please, oh, shut up. Stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your Dutch idea. has got zero oh, lo loyalty to, to Arthur, so... The industrialists. They've taken every He's just selfishly thinking of himself Wouldn't all the time. Back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John, if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey. Yep. Show some goddamn respect. Oh, no, no, shut up. I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. Well, it's what not going plan? to court according to plan, what is it? Goddamn plan, Dutch. Tahiti, Timbuktu. That's enough. <laughs> What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. Our loyalty we can what be shoved far up here, his bum. Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So I oh, yeah? stick with Funny. or cut loose because I am tired. Of this constant descent, long tired of it. Now, come on. I can't even be bothered at this point to hear Dutch talk half the time. Somebody help! No, him. no, go! Please hurry! I'll be. Come on! Hmm. We are not prepared for this. these men Did anyone see eagle flies there going across the walkway oh my god got what you want Dutch. you coming arthur i'm gonna try and save him this fight is unwinnable you go and distract them and let me get to him <laughs> have it your way the rest of you ride with me let's meet up at the factory let's ride yeah! go with him try and help there i'm better off alone we're riding with you come on then
I love Sadie. Straight through the jaw. Yeah, I needed to shoot that before I actually went in because that was I could hear it but I wasn't actually sure if it was there like oh, I don't know like, let's try it Yeah, of course I had to. All of you. you need to go. Where are my men? You're wasting everyone's men? time. Fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get a factory built. You sons of. Oh, there it is. I need to like get down, get down. This regiment is a joke. I can't get him. There we go. Let's go 
okay. I was like, what? Sorry, horses. So good of you to join us. Mm. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. Nope. I don't get, I you, don't no get you either. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on. Get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. Is he being selfish right now? We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right, we've had tough times, the toughest of times, but come on, don't doubt me no more. Mm. Search the place, they gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I bet. We're full. Check that cupboard by the door. few thousand dollars worth maybe more <laughs> oh we are nearly there horse we're nearly there mr morgan let's go home let's get out of here arthur 
Just better be worth it. Do not fail me right now, Arthur. Did you hear that? Gentlemen, we're here Shit. for you. Your friend? Get in there. Shoot him. Find him now. Oh. Come on, bro. Ding dong. There's no way, bro. I would never forgive Dutch for that. There's no way. You didn't. You silly fool. Come on. I would never forgive Dutch for that. To get mine for yours, I would be, be. Come on. I am so mad we at you. you. At you? Yeah, Run you. Oh, you no coward. Suspect. Don't be a fool. You're a coward. Here, any minute. You're a We've coward. Oh, well, we got some money. You've got Can money. <laughs> but we got a whole lot of money. Come You've on. got money. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Yeah. He really is nowadays. Yeah, I don't sure. want to be a part of your shit. Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And yeah. You, of course. And so will I. No. Get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to I can't stand PG Dutch. Can. I actually, I knew this whole time he Hold was just on, being an friend. absolute horrible, horrible uh, human being. We must go back for the body. And the fact that he's just done that is disgusting. Save your strength, my friend. I'm sorry about this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know. Dutch? Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy yep. principles. We're grown 100%. Men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting. I'm so mad at Dutch right now. Maybe, but you. I'm so mad at him. He did. He used them okay, to get what he wanted. Really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? Yep. There used to be some. Some reason to lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. He did. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be. I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. I can't believe he left Arthur. I can't. The fact that he left Arthur like that? He's been, yeah, he's been taken for an absolute fool. I don't want to set. 
There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here? My friend? He's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No. This is over. For all of us. Peta! Yes. Peta! Bring him to me. I'm so disappointed. So disappointed and all. It's just devastating. I really hope he does survive. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. I fear that we're not going to see them ever again. But we've done all we can for them. Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... What's she doing? <coughs> Ian Ansberg? Whatever it was called. 